My next guest, you all know, he uh, stars in a new uh, NBC show called Little House on the Prairie, which is uh, doing very, very well, and it's seen at 8 o'clock tomorrow. He's a nice guy, fine actor. Would you welcome Mike Landon. How's your little house on the prairie? It's just fantastic. <laughs> no, just great. We're having a good time. Did you ever get ever really plowed before, behind a, a, a mule or a horse before? Did I ever get plowed no, behind no, no, a no, mule? Did you ever? No, I occasionally took a sip or two like Ed, but I never got plowed no, you're behind out there, a mule. You know, with the, with the plow and so forth? Oh, yeah, sure, I do that. I know, but have you ever done it before that? Did it in my yard. What do you mean you did it? <laughs> did it in your yard? The first house I ever bought was too expensive for me. And I told my business manager, I am going to do the yard. Don't worry about a gardener. I'm taking care of all of it. <laughs> it was a one and a half acre dune, nothing. So I went out and I rented a rototiller, which I thought was a thing about like so. It turned out to be seven feet long, big motor, a blade. You ground up the ground, right? Right. I set this thing for 18 inches down to dig it all up. And I'm running through my yard, and I'm thinking, no wonder these construction people, they don't care. They throw pipe here, they throw pipe there. They make a mess. I'm throwing pipe over the hill. <laughs> Three and a half hours, I throw pipe over the hill. It was my pipe. <laughs> 400 feet of drain pipe, set at eight inches. Set at eight inches. Eight inches, I'm going to 16. I don't care. <laughs> so you gave that up immediately? Yes, I went into the house then. Yeah. Aren't you handy with things around that? I'm very handy. Yeah. Incredibly. I had a weekend. This past weekend, you would not believe. I haven't had a weekend off. I've been working kind of hard. Well, when you do a weekly show, an hour show, you start shooting at 6.37 and you go right through the day, right? Yeah, and I got a lot of cutting and other stuff to do. So I decided this weekend to pick up on all the stuff I hadn't done. And my wife sleeps rather late. I thought she was a vampire for 12 years. <laughs> so, Does that cause problems? I mean, you have to get up. You, no, you, Lois, she only you, bites my throat. Yeah, I see, of course. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, you resent, you resent the fact that you're getting... Never mind the rim shot. Where does it say oh. rim shot? Kenny Bunkport. <clears throat> um, you resent the fact that you, you get up. A lot of guys would say, wait a minute, I'm hauling out of bed here at 6 in the morning and she's sleeping. You, no, I haul out of bed that. at 4.30 and, uh, and it's better that way. Yeah? Yeah, it's quiet. Okay. It's nice. I like it. So anyway. So I got up and I decided to do all the things that I hadn't done. And there were a number around my house. So I went downstairs and the uh, pipe had broken on the ice maker. So I kind of paddled my way through the pantry. <laughs> and the coffee maker had died. I had a built-in thing. Uh, that was not There's one. no way to get to that. So I boil the water. Now I decide to do the important things clean the ovens. We have automatic ovens, right? I flip on clean on four ovens. That's good. But I don't put the shields up. Oh, now I'm, I'm sitting there I'm drinking not. my coffee and it's like four television sets exploding. The glass? Right in your face, the glass breaks. My wife's not up yet, so I'm not in trouble. Even, <laughs> af even after that? What? She doesn't... She lives uh, in the East Wing. Uh -huh. It's another time zone. Oh, I see. Right. She doesn't see you till 10.30. So I go into the dining room, and I want to clean the chandelier. I've got a beautiful chandelier. I start to clean. Each candle at a time, and I'm thinking, dynamite. It looks incredible, and I keep turning it. Do another candle, turn it. I swear to you on my life, I unscrew it right out of the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I now have the most incredible lazy Susan sunk <laughs> into my dining room table that you've ever seen. Look, you big klutz. Why do you do those things? Why don't you? Because I don't plow well either, John. <laughs> no, I had, we had that happen at the house once. Somebody cleaned the oven and it's electric and you turn it on and, yeah. and it heats up from, you know, six or seven hundred degrees and you had a metal thing you have to put up in front of the little window. And when that thing explodes, it really goes, right? But it doesn't upset my wife. She came down that morning for her tea. She has to have tea and a donut. Hot tea with lemon and a donut. My wife sat there and she looked at the ovens uh, like it was the morning show. <laughs> Sipping a tea, she didn't know anything was wrong. And all the fronts are out of the ovens. Gone. That's a nice woman you live with. She's I mean, a that's wonderful sweet girl. that she wouldn't, you know, do something like that. We have a, you work with children in the show. Are, are kids, actors difficult to work with, honestly? 
The only thing that makes it difficult working with children is that uh, they know their lines. And it's very embarrassing for the adults. Oh, you mean they go home and they memorize them and really got a cold? They have it down. So you can't, you, you can't fool around with them. If you don't say your line, the kid's going, <laughs> they say the line right to you. That's interesting. We got a small uh, film clip from uh, Little House on the Prairie. Does this need any explanation? Do you know what we have? Or I, I, yeah, I'll is? tell you what it is. It's bits and pieces of a show that's on tomorrow night. Uh, that has to do with the first time that... Now, these uh, are not the crazy outtakes you brought us once. No, no, what no, is... these are legit. Uh, no crazy outtakes this week. Uh, they're legit, and, and this is... The show itself is based on truth, and these people did live, and this was the first crop that the man lost in Minnesota. And it has to do with a hailstorm and the loss of a crop and where he went to work. And it's, it's kind of bits and pieces here and there. Okay, Bobby, you want to roll it? Watch the monitors in the studio. This is part of the episode tomorrow, right? Right. What? Wait a minute. What was that last? <laughs> that was a part of the dramatic plot tomorrow, throwing the dynamite in the outhouse? It's a little eye-opening. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen that. I figured, no <clears throat> heel. I figured you got to throw something in there. Were you holding that spike now when the guy was... Yes, I was, with a giant rubber mallet. Ah. <laughs> uh, you see, you've taken all the... Nothing you is real. You've taken right? all the fingers off my hand. Yes, <laughs> yeah. You no, we used, uh, we used regular uh, yeah. eight-pound sledges. Yeah. Do you enjoy doing a weekly series again? You did Bonanza. But not with eight-pound sledges. No, I don't. But I like... You did Bonanza, what, 12? 12 years? Nine years? Oh, so Ten years? Forget us, John. 14 years. 14 years. Yes. I don't like to take it away from Bob Hope, but this is my 26th anniversary on television. Yeah. It is. Well, I started in 1949 on television. 48, 49. I lie and the people go, ha ha. <laughs> Jeez, this I is can't not your 27th it. year on television? No, it isn't. Well, I never you said just, it was. They you, believed you it. You what just... the heck? I'll go with it. <laughs> what a hokey Look, way to get it. It's not my career on a line tonight. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need this. You I got hope your own show. I my wife will fall asleep and find out I didn't blow the chandelier. Does she, want to, does she uh, stay up to watch the show? Obviously she does, because Certainly she, she sleeps late. How about my she... kids stay up to watch the show. Do they like it? That isn't the point, John. <laughs> the well, show is on from 8 to 9. Right. My kids have their choice. They can stay up till 9, they can have a severe beating at 8 and go to bed. <laughs> Obviously they like the show. They love it. <laughs> love oh, they love it. Scarred, but they love the That's show. Right. Uh, we'll, be t we'll take a short break here, 27 years on television, and we'll be right back.